Hello again. At this part of the video, I am going to show you the graphical behavior of our velocities and the distances in time. We will discuss why our balls behave exactly such special way. But before the start, I'd like you to know that graphs are a very useful tool in physics. For instance, from the graph you can find a lot of important information which can help you to analyze any physical system. Before the start, let me remind you that points on our v-axis are our initial velocities. Then the point of intersection with the t-axis means that at this point our object has zero velocity or simply stops. Let's first analyze the behavior of velocity in time. From the graph you can see that nothing special happens with our green ball. Its velocity uniformly and rectilinearly increases in time. Of course, this is because our velocity is a linear function of time, so we plot it as a straight line. But you can see that the behavior of the red ball is for a little bit more complicated. We can see that velocity uh, decreases till the time which we have called the time ts. It's a time of stop because at this point our red ball has zero velocity. Such behavior can be explained if you remember that the second term here occurred with the negative sign. It means that at this part of the curve, gravity gradually slows down the motion of our red ball till at this moment stops it at all. We can find this moment of time with the help of this formula. If you write down the following, we know that at this point this velocity is zero. So we write down on the left zero. 0 is equal with 0, 1 minus gt at the time of stop. From this formula, we can extract this time ts, which is approximate 2.55 seconds. By the way, you can find this moment of time without any calculations. For it, you need to plot this formula on your computer and find this moment immediately and numerically. All in all, after this time ts, we can see that our velocity changes its direction and starts to increase. Now, let's analyze the behavior of the distance in time. From it, we can see that the distance to our green ball increases with the every second by a parabolic law. At the same time, the situation is different again with our red ball. We see that from the very beginning, the distance to it from the starting point grows, but the situation changes as a pivot point, and the distance shortens again. You can calculate that this pivot point occurs exactly at the point when our ball has zero velocity, or simply stops. All in all, from these two graphs we can extract the following information. Our red ball flies higher and higher with decreasing velocity, then at this point it stops and starts to fall down with increasing velocity. At the same time, the distance to our green ball and its velocity increases all the time. Now I am going to show you the second method of obtaining the ball's velocities. The method is obvious, to use the energy conservation law. Let's talk for a bit about energy. According to the ancient Greek philosopher Empedocles, nothing comes to be or perishes, but can only be transformed to the other entities. In other words, energy can be neither created nor destroyed, but can only change its form. If you want to know more information about energy, it's better for you to go to a Simon Expert's video called Energy, but I will continue with my practice task. All in all, the energy conservation law states that the sum of kinetic and potential energy remains constant. For the system of our two balls, it means that we will have the following equation. The initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy equals to kinetic energy and potential energy after the moment of the throw. As you remember, our initial distance is zero, so our equation is a little bit simplified. Now, let's discuss the equation for our red ball. We can see that with increasing the kinetic energy, our potential energy should decrease, because this sum this remains constant. 
and the converse statement is also true with decreasing the kinetic energy our potential energy should increase indeed we can see it in our pictures look at it with decreasing kinetic energy our potential energy increases and the converse statement is true moreover at the point when our where our kinetic energy is zero initial kinetic energy will be entirely transformed to the potential energy this is exactly our point when the potential energy is maximal now let's discuss the equation for our green ball we can see here this negative sign this negative sign occurred because our green ball is lower than our starting point for example if i choose a starting point somewhere here at the ground i will get the positive potential energy so i'd like you to know that this negative sign occurred because our specific choice of the coordinate set all in all we can see that with increasing the kinetic energy here our potential energy should also increase because this sum should be constant. Indeed, we can see it on our pictures. With increasing potent kinetic energy, our potential energy also increases. To convince you that this method really works, let's find velocities from these two equations. The first velocity is from this equation is equal to the square root of v0 1 squared minus 2 g h 1 of t the second velocity from this equation is v 0 2 squared plus 2 g h 2 t if you substitute all the numerical quantities from our statement to these equations you will get the same velocities as we got in our first part. For the first velocity we get 24 meters per second. And for the second it is 64 meters per second. So our method really works. But there are some restrictions on the use of this method. You can see that to find any of these velocities, you need first know the distances h1 or h2 of t. If you don't know these distances, you can't find velocity v1 or v2 of t. But a big advantage of it is that we got all the velocities positive automatically. And we don't have to think about any projection and any negative signs. Now our problem is solved. And I hope that you enjoyed our video and uh, subscribe to our channel. See you in our next videos. Bye-bye.